Oh my goodness. We caught, we caught all these using the best bait ever. Yep. And uh, you can do the same thing. Just follow these tips. Get our spot. I'm just My first big tip with bait fishing is get it as fresh as possible. If it's not live, make sure it's fresh dead. If it's not fresh dead, frozen, frozen's not that great. I personally like to use live bait or fresh dead. And the best way to do that is to catch it yourself. So I'm here with my friend G today. We're gonna catch some croakers, some whatever we can catch, and we'll use it for some bait. Monster fish. We'll get some monsters. We're in a crop alley with this guy. <laughs> Crunk Let's catch a crop. Like a 14 foot net. Something like that, man. Nothing. Nothing. So. Oh, no. I saw eyes. Ha -ha. <laughs> First bait shrimp. One screen. Alright. First bait shrimp is going on. There we go. Shrimp it up. Let's go, B. Oh, you went to the peas recently, caught some lobsters? Yeah. No, I'm going to catch lobsters. Here we go. My waterproof bait box. This keeps all my, my rigs and stuff in here. I'm setting up G's right now with the. Uh, we got the new Skifiki rigs. But I'm gonna be using the sure catch right here. Need a sink or two. Because we're gonna use a Carolina style. Have you seen our new rigs? No, not yet. Can you make these now? So you don't have to tie anything? You nice. just you just put this on and you put a shrimp on there. You put a sinker. Hell yeah. Comes with three of them. Flapping. Oh damn, dude! Oh, we got some big ones. Oh, dude, look at that one! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! What's 
a look down. You can't. This is the this is the craziest thing. Oh my god. And a big shrimp too. Oh my goodness. He knows a good fishery. Fish. He knows a good fishery when you see when you see fish like this coming through. Yeah, well, they they knew I was coming today. So. <laughs> <laughs> they said, "Hey, everyone, come see G today." <laughs> it's a beautiful looking fish, man. Oh yeah, that's that's the best bait right here. This one. Yeah, one. Mhm. Mm Look at that moonfish. Mm -hmm. Wow! Look at how skinny. He is. Good eating fish, but. Too small. See ya, buddy. Oh, wow. Wow, little flounder. G so... got some shrimp, too. Some shrimp. Look, we got a little flounder. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's cute. <laughs> White That's size. Cool. Got some There's a flippity plap. Flippity plap. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's right there. How oh, was it? Dude, it's a freaking monster fish over there. Yeah, I know. There. Ridiculous fish. I think you could also spear over there. Oh, that's another thing they have here. Massive crabs, lots of them too. Yeah, we come out here with like like seven poles with uh, chicken necks. Yeah, they're really good eating. Serious, serious business. <laughs> I'm trying to get clawed. Yeah. Right, where's that hook? This is how you use crab. You see these chambers right here? Cut along those chambers. Cut the legs off. See these knuckles? Feed it through. Push it through. That's how you bait it up. And this is on the sure catch rig. We're both using the sure catch rigs. I call it the sure catch rig because you're sure to catch something. Heck yeah. Okay, so different live baits will catch you different kinds of fish. So the pilchard that we've got out right now will catch like a trout, maybe a red drum, but most likely a trout as long as it's alive. Uh, like a crab will catch black drum, red drum, trout will eat it too. Shrimps, I think everything will eat a shrimp too, but the thing with shrimp is it comes off the hook so easily. I don't like using it because so many catfish tear into it and little pinfish tear into it. We got a trout. Trout. First trout. <laughs> First trout of the day. So cute. Big head. Look oh, how big the mouth is. Mm -hmm. Made to eat. So cute. You ready for this magic? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of bait this morning. This is a perfect amount for us to start. Uh, if we don't, if we don't have enough bait, we'll catch some more later. But uh, the sun is about to come up, and this is the best time to start using your live bait. At nighttime, when the sun is about to come up, before the sun comes up, I like to spend my time catching my live and my fresh baits, so that when the sun does come up, I don't have to worry about catching things. I can just worry about catching fish. some more croaker right now. Crab, ladyfish, mullet, all great baits. They're very fresh.
Look at that. Jeez, this is too big of a bait for you, man. Come on. Don't you know that? <laughs> That's what keeps stealing my bait. Look at that. There you go. All right. Ooh, we got away. <laughs> it's a sign. Use it again. Ooh, G's on one. Oh, that's a big one. There you go. Nice. That's a keeper. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Here, I got a net right here. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a 15 and a half, 16. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. All right, all right, all right. That was on the croaker, right? Um, The one you baited up, dude. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. Do it over this. Just on colors. Did you wait a second? Mm hmm. You had to wait. Yeah, I waited. Right on this side. Oh, oh yeah. Side. Super. 16. In. Mm -hmm. Super in. Past 16. Yeah, 16 that's the lip right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 16 and a half. Almost oh, 17. 17. Yeah. It is 17. <gasps> we got ourselves a meal! Where is this? I'm down. I'm down. Come on! Yeah. Oh, it's jumping out the water! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, doubled up just now. Yep. Get a measurement of mine. I'm not sure this is in. Maybe it's just right on the dot. Dang, I just dumped my shit in there. <laughs> Two and a half. Yeah, that's right. Where's the zero? Zero. I think he's 15 in. Fifteen and a half. In. There we go. There we go. Two keepers. Yay. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice, two keepers right away. Good job, man. The tide has turned. Yeah. Croaker. Croaker. Trout. You can tell when you touch them that they're just such a firm. soft. They're firm. They're firm? No, they're firmer than the big fat ones we were catching, like the, the 23 inch ones, the 28 inch ones. Those are really like just fatty. Like the meat is really soft versus these are a little firmer. I like them a little firmer. We got some good shrimps to eat in here. We got some good shrimp. Maybe we should just eat these up instead, have... you know? Let's just save them. Of size. Yeah, they're, they're of age. They're of age? I mean size. <laughs> Do you have any don'ts? Don't do's? Don't hook it. Don't hook it in the middle. Don't hook it through the gill. Don't hook it and let it hook itself back into itself. Make sure it's exposed like that. So when you hook it in the middle like this, the fish doesn't swim as naturally. It kind of swims in a weird pattern and it's not as good because it's not as easy to hook the fish. Versus when you put it on the tail like this, a lot more of the hook is actually showing and you'll land more fish. Another spot that's good is right on the lips like this. Just like that. Because when the fish eats it, usually it eats it head first. 
right? And if it doesn't, the hook is still exposed right here. So when you set the hook, you can easily get the fish. Tips for hooking shrimp. So my tip for hooking the shrimp is just like any live bait, you want to hook it anywhere where it's going to, you want to hook it in the place where it's going to be the least obstructive. And right through the head like this, it can swim very freely or through the tail right here. But look at how it swims with it on there, on this head. It can naturally just swim around. And when I cast this bobber, there's nothing holding it back. There's no sink or anything, so it can just swim very freely at the surface of the water. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. Freaking giant, man. I told you. I told you they're here. There's one out there, you gotta your bones somewhere. That thing slammed it. Woo! Oh my! Bro, oh, that's a monster. That is a monster. <laughs> that's enormous. Put a croaker out there, man. His brother's out there. Oh this is my biggest God. one ever. What the hell? What the hell? Oh! My oh. God. That's a Jurassic Park sized trout. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my Let's give him a measure. Yeah, yeah, here, let me get this for you. We can keep one over this size, but oh. this meat is kind of mushy. Hold on. Look at this large mouth bass. Look at his mouth. Holy crap. You saw that thing take off with it? Yeah. Oh, I saw it. You're sitting at 26. 26 inches. Yeah. Damn, look at that line on the wow. skin. Okay, hold it up one more time. Should we keep them? Hell yeah, right? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know how to answer that one. Oh my god. You gotta ask a Filipino guy that. <laughs> Congratulations. Catfish got me good earlier. I mean, it's just a little cut, but this venom got in me. I sucked some of it out, but it's not. You had to suck it out? Oh, damn, it's down. It's down already. Down. Holy crap. Get oh. Get it. Get it. On? Oh my god, I told you you're gonna get a mask. <laughs> Big, oh, Maybe it's swimming with Dude, you. How did you get that? It's too small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, it's a keeper right here. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> 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 
fell in. <laughs> Holy crap! Boy, that's a good sign. Dude. Man. That's a good sign. That's over. That's Another. Another one. So you can keep five per person. One, one over. over 21? Or is it over 19? One over 19. One over 19. Whoa! Ah. Get bit. No, I got hooked. Oh. Hold on, hold it Holy up. Hold crap. it up. Thank you. I think we did a pretty good job today. What do you think? We did all right. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at yeah. this. This one is eating this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I lost my last bait. Now it's over. It's really over. I don't have any more croakers. And I, I just want to eat these shrimp. So let's go cook up some trout and some shrimp for lunch. That was a perfect morning. All it required me to do was wake up at 2.30 in the morning. No, all it required me to do is sleep at 6.30 at night so that I can wake up at 6.30 in the morning. 2.30. So that... All right. All it required me... What did I say? All it requires is to wake up at 2.30 in the morning so that you can get to your spot at 4. So that you can really get some shrimp before to get... Let me just forget it. Just forget it. <laughs> it's it's complicated. complicated. I'm tired. dinner with our rigs those rigs work really well I feel like when you put salt on it, it changes the texture of the fish. It keeps it a little firmer, and um, I think it takes out some of the oils, and uh, I just love the consistency when I put a little bit of uh, sea salt on it. And we're taking this to hot pot, so I'm gonna cut them into little pieces so that we can eat them together, just, you know, chopstick plate at a time. Barbecue, my favorite place. All right, guys, let's go. So, uh, you want to do a TikTok episode on this side? Uh, no, I need to go. No. And he just asked me to connect me on this. What do you say? He got eight chunks today. Eight chunks? Eight chunks, huh? Eight chunks. Eight chunks. Eight chunks. Eight chunks. Eight chunks. Eight chunks. Pick our soup base. Tomato, herbal, pork bone, original soup, spicy soup, tom yum, red curry soup. All right, pick one, Aaron. I like the herbal because I like the dates in it. Herbal. A mm little sweeter. We like the herbs. The herbal soup. Right and then I think I'm gonna get the tom yum. That's like a mm. spicy, sweet, sour yum. kind of soup. Sounds good. Yeah. Hey, G, what time we get to pick out as much food as we want? <laughs> so the conveyor belt is all um, vegetables and noodles, and then the long belt over here is all seafood, meats, barbecue, 
We've got a grill and we've got cotton pot. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna show you guys how to eat that. I'm putting, I'm making a peanut based sauce right now. So I'm putting peanut butter, soy sauce. Oh yeah. Um, maybe some chili oil. And then garlic. Scallions. Ooh. Cilantro. Mm. I'm gonna put a little bit more soy sauce. Alright. Oh my god, look at all this food. Seafood. Yes. And. Thank you so much. Alright. Mmm. Crunchy. Yeah. 